most likely I know that you have experienced in your practice patients that walk through your door with a single dark tooth. Now, when I'm talking about single dark tooth, you may also have some patients that have more than one uh, tooth that is darker, maybe two or three teeth adjacent to each other and in the aesthetic zone. So the same techniques that I'm gonna share with you for single dark teeth are gonna be the ones that you're gonna use for patients that have more than one dark tooth in the aesthetic zone. Now, for these patients, they're gonna, you're gonna follow the same instructions that I shared with you during our vital bleaching video. That you can, uh, you most likely are gonna find the link for that video on the upper right hand corner of this video. The only modifications that you're gonna do are the ones that I'm gonna share with you today. And these modifications are critical in order for you to be successful, you know, solving a single dark tooth case. The most important modification when it comes to vital bleaching compared to single dark tooth bleaching is gonna be in the fabrication of your tray. The actual tray is gonna be the same because we're gonna use 10% carbon peroxide. We're gonna use the same technique as we outlined in our vital bleaching video. If you haven't watched that video, please make sure to click up in the right, upper right hand corner of this video and it will take you immediately to that one. I would highly recommend that you watch that video first before coming back to single dark tooth. But again, as I was saying before, the tray is gonna be where the secret is. Now for this tray modification, the ultimate goal is that you create two windows that are right next to the single dark tooth or maybe dark teeth in, your page, uh, in the case that you're trying to, to help out, that you're trying to solve. And the reason for that is because you wanna concentrate only in bleaching initially the dark tooth. If you give the patient a regular tray, What's gonna happen is that number one, it's gonna be hard for them to determine within the tray which one is the dark tooth that they only that they want to bleach initially. And if you give them a regular tray and they do identify the dark tooth in the tray, well, once they put the tray inside their mouth, again, the product, the bleaching agent is gonna spread out in, within the tray and is gonna be in contact with the neighboring teeth. So not only the dark tooth is gonna get lighter, but also the neighboring teeth. Don't forget, Bleaching is a diffusion process. So what you are trying to accomplish is that you want to only bleach the dark tooth first. And in order for you to do that, you have to cut two windows on the neighboring teeth of the dark tooth. This will enable the patient to remove any uh, product that's, that's gonna be in contact with those neighboring teeth. Any product that will you know, just literally um, come out of the tray, it will be easy for them to just remove it, wipe it out with their fingers, and allow the bleaching gel just to be in contact with the single dark tooth. Bleaching only that tooth and keeping every tooth at the shade that you initially want to match. Don't forget, your ultimate goal is to match the single dark tooth to the neighboring teeth before you go back and bleach every other tooth in the patient's mouth. Even though I do a lot of dental photography in my practice and I take photos of almost every patient that is in, that is in, in any of my dental chairs, I do recommend that if you don't do as much photography as I do, at least make sure that you make photos of your single dark tooth cases. Because you really, these are more com complex cases. They're gonna take a little bit more time, more of your time to get these teeth to you know, become lighter and to get an, an end result that really is gonna you know, make your patient feel like you know, they, they selected the right dentist and they selected the right treatment that you recommended. So make sure that you start your, every single one of your single dark tooth cases with preoperative photos. And the photos that I like is always gonna be a smile photo and a retracted lips photo. Now these photos are gonna help you communicate with your patients because believe me, I have had cases that have taken me all the way up to 100 days to get a dark tooth to match the neighboring teeth. And my patients always tell me, are we going in the right direction? Am I really, uh, am I, is my dark tooth really getting lighter? And the only way that I can prove to them that they are getting lighter is showing them their photos, one right next to the other. So in like, like if I have a case that is gonna take me 30, 60 or 100 days, maybe like in the middle of that time, I'm gonna share with them a couple of their pre-op photos to what they have today. And it's gonna be a lot easier for them to see, okay, the tooth is getting lighter. 
is it, this is a slow process, but it's getting lighter every every day. And again, I've had cases that have that have taken me 120 days to make everything every tooth, you know, the, the dark tooth match the neighboring teeth. So keep in mind that you're gonna have to justify this time to your patients, and photos are gonna be an excellent tool to help you help you uh, make them see the changes and justify the time that you are investing in this treatment. The instructions are gonna be fairly similar to the ones that I gave my patients for vital bleaching. The only difference is that they're gonna bleach one tooth, the dark tooth first. If they have a couple of dark teeth, well, those two teeth are the ones that are gonna be involved in your initial bleaching. And again, don't forget, we modified the tray with two windows. So make sure that they understand that the windows are there, not only for them to identify which one is the tooth or set of teeth that they're gonna initially bleach, but most important, if there's any gel that moves out of the tray to the neighboring teeth, they have to remove that gel from the neighboring teeth and that's why they have those windows. So that it's easy for them to access those teeth, remove the bleaching gel that is in contact with those teeth and allow the bleaching gel to be in contact only with a dark tooth or dark teeth. In this portion of the video, I'm gonna share with you two clinical cases. Now these clinical cases are gonna be single dark tooth cases. And I'm gonna share an easy case that maybe, you know, it took maybe 30 to 45 days for me to complete. And I'm gonna share a more complex case that took me 100 days to complete. I want you to see the results so that you can kind of visualize what to expect with your cases in your own practice. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel. This way you're gonna get instant notifications every time we upload a new video.